Portuguese Portuguese or, in full, lingua portuguesa is a Western Romance language originating in the Iberian Peninsula. It is the sole official language of Portugal, Brazil, Cape Verde, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, Angola, and São Tomé and Príncipe. It also has co-official language status in East Timor, Equatorial Guinea and Macau in China. As the result of expansion during colonial times, a cultural presence of Portuguese and Portuguese Creole speakers are also found in Goa, Daman and Diu in India, in Batakaloa on the east coast of Sri Lanka, in the Indonesian island of Flores, in the Malacca state of Malaysia, and the ABC islands in the Caribbean where Papiamento is spoken, while Cape Verdean Creole is the most widely spoken Portuguese-based Creole. A Portuguese-speaking person or nation may be referred to as Lusophone in both English and Portuguese. Portuguese is part of the Ibero-Romance group that evolved from several dialects of Vulgar Latin in the medieval kingdom of Galicia and the county of Portugal, and has kept some Celtic phonology and lexicon. With approximately 215 to 220 million native speakers and 250 million total speakers, Portuguese is usually listed as the sixth most natively spoken language in the world, the third most spoken European language in the world in terms of native speakers, and the most spoken language in the Southern Hemisphere. It is also the most spoken language in South America and the second most spoken in Latin America after Spanish, one of the ten most spoken languages in Africa and is an official language of the European Union, Mercosur, OAS, ECOWAS and the African Union. History when the Romans arrived at the Iberian Peninsula in 216 BC, they brought the Latin language with them, from which all Romance languages descend. The language was spread by Roman soldiers, settlers, and merchants, who built Roman cities mostly near the settlements of previous Celtic or Celtiberian civilizations established long before the Roman arrivals. For that reason, the language has kept a relevant substratum of much older, Atlantic European megalithic culture and Celtic culture. Between 409 AD and 711 AD, as the Roman Empire collapsed in Western Europe, the Iberian Peninsula was conquered by Germanic peoples of the Migration Period. The occupiers, mainly Subi, Visigoths and Buri who originally spoke Germanic languages, quickly adopted late Roman culture and the vulgar Latin dialects of the peninsula and over the next 300 years totally integrated into the local populations. After the Moorish invasion beginning in 711, Arabic became the administrative and common language in the conquered regions, but most of the remaining Christian population continued to speak a form of Romance commonly known as Mozarabic, which lasted three centuries longer in Spain. Portuguese evolved from the medieval language, known today by linguists as Galician Portuguese, Old Portuguese or Old Galician, of the northwestern medieval kingdom of Galicia and county of Portugal. It is in Latin administrative documents of the 9th century that written Galician Portuguese words and phrases are first recorded. This phase is known as Proto-Portuguese, which lasted from the 9th century until the 12th century independence of the county of Portugal from the Kingdom of Leon, which had by then assumed reign over Galicia. In the first part of the Galician Portuguese period from the 12th to the 14th century, the language was increasingly used for documents and other written forms. For some time, it was the language of preference for lyric poetry in Christian Hispania, much as Occitan was the language of the poetry of the troubadours in France. The Occitan digraphs LH and NH, used in its classical orthography, were adopted by the orthography of Portuguese, presumably by Gerald of Braga, a monk from Moisic, who became Bishop of Braga in Portugal in 1047, playing a major role in modernizing written Portuguese using classical Occitan norms. Portugal became an independent kingdom in 1139, under King Afonso I of Portugal. In 1290, King Denis of Portugal created the first Portuguese university in Lisbon the Estudos Gerais, which later moved to Coimbra and decreed for Portuguese, then simply called the common language, to be known as the Portuguese language and used officially. In the second period of Old Portuguese, in the 15th and 16th centuries, with the Portuguese discoveries, the language was taken to many regions of Africa, Asia, and the Americas. By the mid-16th century, Portuguese had become a lingua franca in Asia and Africa, used not only for colonial administration and trade but also for communication between local officials and Europeans of all nationalities. 
Its spread was helped by mixed marriages between Portuguese and local people and by its association with Roman Catholic missionary efforts, which led to the formation of Creole languages such as that called Christing in many parts of Asia from the word Christau, Christian. The language continued to be popular in parts of Asia until the 19th century. Some Portuguese-speaking Christian communities in India, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, and Indonesia preserved their language even after they were isolated from Portugal. The end of the Old Portuguese period was marked by the publication of the Cancionero Geral by Garcia de Resende, in 1516. The early times of modern Portuguese, which spans the period from the 16th century to the present day, were characterized by an increase in the number of learned words borrowed from classical Latin and classical Greek because of the Renaissance learned words borrowed from Latin also came from Renaissance Latin, the form of Latin during that time, which greatly enriched the lexicon. Most literate Portuguese speakers were also literate in Latin, and thus they easily adopted Latin words into their writing—and eventually speech— in Portuguese, Spanish author Miguel de Cervantes once called Portuguese the sweet and gracious language, while the Brazilian poet Olavo Balac described it as a ultima flor do lacio, inculta e bella, the last flower of latium, rustic and beautiful. Portuguese is also termed the language of Camos, after Luís Vaz de Camos, one of the greatest literary figures in the Portuguese language and author of the Portuguese epic poem Os Lusiadas, in March 2006, the Museum of the Portuguese Language, an interactive museum about the Portuguese language, was founded in São Paulo, Brazil, the city with the greatest number of Portuguese language speakers in the world. The museum is the first of its kind in the world. In 2015 the museum was destroyed in a fire, but there are plans to reconstruct it. Topic. Geographic distribution Topic. Portuguese is the native language of the vast majority of people in Brazil and Portugal, and 99.8% of the population of São Tomé and Príncipe declared speaking Portuguese in the 1991 census. Perhaps 75% of the population of Angola speaks Portuguese natively, and 85% are more or less fluent. Just over 40% and rapidly increasing of the population of Mozambique are native speakers of Portuguese, and 60% are fluent, according to the 2007 census. Portuguese is also spoken natively by 30% of the population in Guinea-Bissau, and a Portuguese-based Creole is understood by all. No data is available for Cape Verde, but almost all the population is bilingual, and the monolingual population speaks Cape Verdean Creole. There are also significant Portuguese-speaking immigrant communities in many countries including Andorra 15.4%, Bermuda, Canada 400,275 people in the 2006 census, France 900,000 people, Japan 400,000 people, Jersey, Namibia about 4 to 5% of the population, mainly refugees from Angola in the north of the country, Paraguay 10.7% or 636,000 people, Macau 0.6% or 12,000 people, Switzerland 196,000 nationals in 2008, Venezuela 554,000, and the United States 0.35% of the population or 1,228,126 speakers according to the 2007 American Community Survey. In some parts of former Portuguese India, namely Goa and Daman and Diu, the language is still spoken by about 10,000 people. In 2014, an estimated 1,500 students were learning Portuguese in Goa. Topic. Official status Topic. The Community of Portuguese Language Countries In Portuguese Comunidade dos Países de Língua Portuguesa, with the Portuguese acronym CPLP consists of the eight independent countries that have Portuguese as an official language, Angola, Brazil, Cape Verde, East Timor, Equatorial Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, Portugal and São Tomé and Príncipe. Equatorial Guinea made a formal application for full membership to the CPLP in June 2010, a status given only to states with Portuguese as an official language. 
In 2011, Portuguese became its third official language besides Spanish and French and in July 2014, the country was accepted as a member of the CPLP. Portuguese is also one of the official languages of the Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China of Macau alongside Chinese and of several international organizations including the Mercosur, the Organization of Ibero-American States, the Union of South American Nations, the Organization of American States, the African Union, the Economic Community of West African States, the Southern African Development Community and the European Union. Lusophone countries According to the World Factbook country population estimates for 2017, the population of each of the ten jurisdictions is as follows by descending order. Notes some linguists argue that Galician, spoken in Galicia, is merely a dialect of Portuguese rather than an independent language, this would make northwestern Spain a part of the Portuguese-speaking world. Macau is not a sovereign nation. It is one of the two semi-autonomous special administrative regions of the People's Republic of China the other being Anglophone Hong Kong, a former British colony. Equatorial Guinea adopted Portuguese as one of its official languages in 2007, being admitted to CPLP in 2014. The use of the Portuguese language in this country is limited. However, a Portuguese-based Creole language, Anobanese Creole, is used, mainly on the islands of Anabon and Bioko. The combined population of the entire Lusophone area was estimated at 279 million in July 2017. This number does not include the Lusophone diaspora, estimated at approximately 10 million people including 4.5 million Portuguese, 3 million Brazilians, and half a million Cape Verdeans, among others, although it is hard to obtain official accurate numbers of diasporic Portuguese speakers because a significant portion of these citizens are naturalized citizens born outside of Lusophone territory or are children of immigrants, and may have only a basic command of the language. Additionally, a large part of the diaspora is a part of the already counted population of the Portuguese-speaking countries and territories, such as the high number of Brazilian and PALOP emigrant citizens in Portugal or the high number of Portuguese emigrant citizens in the PALOP and Brazil. The Portuguese language therefore serves more than 250 million people daily, who have direct or indirect legal, juridical and social contact with it, varying from the only language used in any contact, to only education, contact with local or international administration, commerce and services or the simple sight of road signs, public information and advertising in Portuguese. Topic. Portuguese is a foreign language. Topic. Portuguese is a mandatory subject in the school curriculum in Uruguay. Other countries where Portuguese is taught at schools or is being introduced now include Venezuela, Zambia, the Republic of the Congo, Senegal, Namibia, Swaziland, and South Africa. Topic. Future According to estimates by UNESCO, Portuguese is the fastest growing European language after English and the language has, according to the newspaper The Portugal News publishing data given from UNESCO, the highest potential for growth as an international language in Southern Africa and South America. Portuguese is a globalized language spoken officially on five continents, and is a second language by millions worldwide. Since 1991, when Brazil signed into the economic community of Mercosul with other South American nations, namely Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay, Portuguese is either mandatory, or taught, in the schools of those South American countries. Although early in the 21st century, after Macau was ceded to China and Brazilian immigration to Japan slowed down, the use of Portuguese was in decline in Asia, it is once again becoming a language of opportunity there, mostly because of increased diplomatic and financial ties with economically powerful Portuguese-speaking countries Brazil, Angola, Mozambique, etc. in the world. Dialects. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Voce, a pronoun meaning you, is used for educated, formal, and colloquial respectful speech in most Portuguese-speaking regions. In the Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sul, voce is virtually absent from the spoken language. 
In Portugal, it may be considered disrespectful to treat a stranger as voce, so the pronoun is either replaced by the name of the person or a title or it is omitted, since the verbal conjugation allows the distinction between formal and informal treatment. Rio Grandense or Gaucho Portuguese normally distinguishes formal from informal speech by verbal conjugation. Informal speech employs two followed by third person verbs. Formal language retains the traditional second person. Conjugation of two has three different forms in Brazil: verb to see, tu viste in the traditional second person, tu viu in the third person, and tu vis in the innovative second person. The conjugation used in the Brazilian states of Para, Santa Catarina, and Maranhão being generally traditional second person, the kind that is used in other Portuguese-speaking countries and learned in Brazilian schools. The predominance of southeastern-based media products has established voce as the pronoun of choice for the second-person singular in both writing and multimedia communications. However, in the city of Rio de Janeiro, the country's main cultural center, the usage of two has been expanding ever since the end of the 20th century see, a linguistic research on the topic in Portuguese, being most frequent among youngsters and a number of studies have also shown an increase in its use in a number of other Brazilian dialects. Modern Standard European Portuguese Portuguese Pedrao or Portuguese Continental is based on the Portuguese spoken in the area including and surrounding the cities of Coimbra and Lisbon, in central Portugal. Standard European Portuguese is also the preferred standard by the Portuguese-speaking African countries. As such, and despite the fact that its speakers are dispersed around the world, Portuguese has only two dialects used for learning, the European and the Brazilian. Some aspects and sounds found in many dialects of Brazil are exclusive to South America, and cannot be found in Europe. However, the Sandemian Portuguese in Africa may be confused with a Brazilian dialect by its phonology and prosody. Audio samples of some dialects and accents of Portuguese are available below. There are some differences between the areas but these are the best approximations possible. IPA transcriptions refer to the names in local pronunciation. Topic. Brazil Topic. Caipira — spoken in the states of São Paulo most markedly on the countryside and rural areas, southern Minas Gerais, northern Paraná and southeastern Mato Grosso do Sul. Depending on the vision of what constitutes Caipira, Triangulo Monero, border areas of Goiás and the remaining parts of Mato Grosso do Sul are included, and the frontier of Caipira in Minas Gerais is expanded further northerly, though not reaching metropolitan Belo Horizonte. It is often said that Caipira appeared by decreolization of the lingua brasilica and the related lingua geral paulista, then spoken in almost all of what is now São Paulo, a former lingua franca in most of the contemporary centro sul of Brazil before the 18th century, brought by the Bandeirantes, interior pioneers of colonial Brazil, closely related to its northern counterpart Ningatu, and that is why the dialect shows many general differences from other variants of the language. It has striking remarkable differences in comparison to other Brazilian dialects in phonology, prosody and grammar, often stigmatized as being strongly associated with a substandard variant, now mostly rural. Sirens or Costa Norte is a dialect spoken more sharply in the states of Sira and Piauí. The variant of Sira includes fairly distinctive traits it shares with the one spoken in Piauí, though, such as distinctive regional phonology and vocabulary for example, a debuccalization process stronger than that of Portuguese, a different system of the vowel harmony that spans Brazil from Fluminense and Monero to Amazophonia but is especially prevalent in Nordestino, a very coherent coda sibilant palatalization as those of Portugal and Rio de Janeiro but allowed in fewer environments than in other accents of Nordestino, a greater presence of dental stop palatalization to palato alveolar in comparison to other accents of nordestino, among others, as well as a great number of archaic Portuguese words. Baiano — found in Bahia, Sergipe, northern Minas Gerais and border regions with Goiás and Tocantins. Similar to nordestino, it has a very characteristic syllable-timed rhythm and the greatest tendency to pronounce unstressed vowels as open mid — and Fluminense — a broad dialect with many variants spoken in the states of Rio de Janeiro, Espírito Santo and neighboring eastern regions of Minas Gerais. Fluminense formed in these previously Caipira-speaking areas due to the gradual influence of European migrants, causing many people to distance their speech from their original dialect and incorporate new terms. 
Fluminense is sometimes referred to as carioca, however carioca is a more specific term referring to the accent of the greater Rio de Janeiro area by speakers with a Fluminense dialect. Gaucho — in Rio Grande do Sul, similar to Sulista. There are many distinct accents in Rio Grande do Sul, mainly due to the heavy influx of European immigrants of diverse origins who have settled in colonies throughout the state, and to the proximity to Spanish-speaking nations. The gaucho word in itself is a Spanish loanword into Portuguese of obscure indigenous Amerindian origins. Monero — Minas Gerais not prevalent in the Triangulo Monero. As the Fluminense area, its associated region was formerly a sparsely populated land where Caipira was spoken, but the discovery of gold and gems made it the most prosperous Brazilian region, what attracted Portuguese colonists, commoners from other parts of Brazil and their African slaves. South southwestern, southeastern, and northern areas of the state have fairly distinctive speech, actually approximating to Caipira, Fluminense, popularly called, often pejoratively, Carioca do Breio, Marsh Carioca and Bayano respectively. Areas including and surrounding Belo Horizonte have a distinctive accent. Nordestino — more marked in the Sertão 7, where, in the 19th and 20th centuries and especially in the area including and surrounding the Sertão the dry land after Agreste of Pernambuco and southern Sierra, it could sound less comprehensible to speakers of other Portuguese dialects than Galician or Rioplatan Spanish, and nowadays less distinctive from other variants in the metropolitan cities along the coasts. It can be divided in two regional variants, one that includes the northern Maranhão and southern of Piauí, and other that goes from Sierra to Alagoas. Nortista or Amazofonia — most of Amazon Basin states i.e. northern Brazil. Before the 20th century, most people from the Nordestino area fleeing the droughts and their associated poverty settled here, so it has some similarities with the Portuguese dialect there spoken. The speech in and around the cities of Belém and Manaus has a more European flavor in phonology, prosody and grammar. Paulistano — variants spoken around Greater São Paulo in its maximum definition and more easterly areas of São Paulo state, as well perhaps, educated speech, from anywhere in the state of São Paulo where it coexists with Caipira. Caipira is the hinterland sociolect of much of the central southern half of Brazil, nowadays conservative only in the rural areas and associated with them, that has a historically low prestige in cities as Rio de Janeiro, Curitiba, Belo Horizonte, and until some years ago, in São Paulo itself. Sociolinguistics, or what by times is described as linguistic prejudice, often correlated with classism, is a polemic topic in the entirety of the country since the times of Adoniran Barbosa. Also, the Paulistano accent was heavily influenced by the presence of immigrants in the city of Sao Paulo, especially the Italians. Sertanejo — center western states, and also much of Tocantins and Rondonia. It is closer to Monero, Caipira, Nordestino or Nortista depending on the location. Sulista — the variants spoken in the areas between the northern regions of Rio Grande do Sul and southern regions of São Paulo state, encompassing most of southern Brazil. The city of Curitiba does have a fairly distinct accent as well, and a relative majority of speakers around and in Florianópolis also speak this variant many speak Florianopolitano or Manizinho da Ilha instead, related to the European Portuguese dialect spoken in Azores and Madeira. Speech of northern Parana is closer to that of inland São Paulo. Florianopolitano — Variants heavily influenced by European Portuguese spoken in Florianopolis city due to a heavy immigration movement from Portugal, mainly its insular regions and much of its metropolitan area, Grande Florianopolis, said to be a continuum between those whose speech most resemble Sulista dialects and those whose speech most resemble Fluminense and European ones, called, often pejoratively, Manizinho da Ilha. Carioca not a dialect, but sociolects of the Fluminense variant spoken in an area roughly corresponding to Greater Rio de Janeiro. It appeared after locals came in contact with the Portuguese aristocracy amidst the Portuguese royal family fled in the early 19th century. 
There is actually a continuum between vernacular countryside accents and the carioca sociolect, and the educated speech in Portuguese norma culta, which most closely resembles other Brazilian Portuguese standards but with marked recent Portuguese influences, the nearest ones among the country's dialects along Florianopolitano, so that not all people native to the state of Rio de Janeiro speak the said sociolect, but most carioca speakers will use the standard variant not influenced by it that is rather uniform around Brazil depending on context emphasis or formality, for example. Brasiliense — used in Brasilia and its metropolitan area. It is not considered a dialect, but more of a regional variant, often deemed to be closer to Fluminense than the dialect commonly spoken in most of Goiás, Sertanejo. Arco do desflorestamento or Serra Amazonica — known in its region as the accent of the migrants. It has similarities with Caipira, Sertanejo and often Sulista that make it differing from Amazofonia in the opposite group of Brazilian dialects, in which it is placed along Nordestino, Baiano, Monero and Fluminense. It is the most recent dialect, which appeared by the settlement of families from various other Brazilian regions attracted by the cheap land offer in recently deforested areas. Recifense — used in Recife and its metropolitan area. Topic. Portugal Topic. Michaelense Açorish, São Miguel — Azores Alentejano — Alentejo — Alentejan Portuguese Algarvio — Algarve There is a particular dialect in a small part of western Algarve. Minhado — Districts of Braga and Viana do Castelo — Hinterland Birao — Alto Alentejano Central Portugal hinterland. Birao — Central Portugal. Estremenho — Regions of Coimbra, Liria and Lisbon this is a disputed denomination, as Coimbra is not part of Estremadora, and the Lisbon dialect has some peculiar features that are not only not shared with that of Coimbra, but also significantly distinct and recognizable to most native speakers from elsewhere in Portugal. Madeirance — Madeiran — Madeira. Portuans, Regions of the district of Porto and parts of Aveiro. Transmontano — Tras os Montes e Alto Douro. Other countries and dependencies Angola — Angolano Angolan Portuguese Cape Verde — Cabo Verdiano Cape Verdean Portuguese East Timor — Timorense East Timorese Portuguese India — Domains Damanese Portuguese and Goes Gone Portuguese Guinea-Bissau — Guineans Guinean Portuguese Macau — Macans Macanese Portuguese Mozambique — Macambicano Mozambican Portuguese Sao Tome and Principe — Santamense Sao Tomean Portuguese Spain — Olivention Portuguese and other varieties sometimes controversially deemed as separate languages, such as Galician and Fala. Uruguay — Dialectos Portugueses del Uruguay DPU differences between dialects are mostly of accent and vocabulary, but between the Brazilian dialects and other dialects, especially in their most colloquial forms, there can also be some grammatical differences. The Portuguese-based creoles spoken in various parts of Africa, Asia, and the Americas are independent languages. Topic. Characterization and peculiarities Topic. Portuguese, like Catalan, preserved the stressed vowels of Vulgar Latin, which became diphthongs in most other Romance languages, cf. Port, Cat, Sard, Pedra, Fr, Pierre, Sp, Piedra, It, Pietra, Ro. Piatra, from Lot, Petra, Stone, or Port, Fogo, Cat, Foc, Sard, Fogo, Sp, Fuego, It, Fuoco, Fr, Fu, Ro, Foc, from Lot, Focus, Fire. Another characteristic of early Portuguese was the loss of intervocalic L and N, sometimes followed by the merger of the two surrounding vowels, or by the insertion of an epithetic vowel between them, cf. Lot, Salir, to jump, Tenere, to hold, Catina, chain, Sp, Salir, Tenor, Cadena, Port, Ser, Ter, Cadea. When the elided consonant was N, it often nasalized the preceding vowel, cf. Lot, Manum, hand. Ranum, frog, bonum, good, 
port, mao, ra, bu, now mao, ra, bom. This process was the source of most of the language's distinctive nasal diphthongs. In particular, the Latin endings anem, anum and onum became ao in most cases, cf. lot, canis, dog, germanus, brother, ratio, reason, with modern port, sao, or mao, rizao, and their plurals anes, anos, ones normally became as, aus, os, cf. cs, or maus, razos. The Portuguese language is the only Romance language that has preserved the clitic case mesoclysis, cf. Dar te a i. LL give thee, amar te a i. LL love you, contact a loss a. I'll contact them. Like Galician, it also retains the Latin synthetic pluperfect tense, eu estivera I had been, eu vivera I had lived, vos viveris you had lived. Romanian also has this tense, but uses the s form. Topic. Vocabulary Topic. Most of the lexicon of Portuguese is derived, directly or through other Romance languages, from Latin. Nevertheless, because of its original Lusitanian and Celtic Galician heritage, and the later participation of Portugal in the Age of Discovery, it has some words from pre-Latin Paleo-Hispanic languages and adopted loanwords from other languages around the world. A number of Portuguese words can still be traced to the pre-Roman inhabitants of Portugal, which included the Galaeci, Lusitanians, Celtici and Sinets. Most of these words derived from the Hispano-Celtic Galician language of northwestern Iberia, and are very often shared with Galician since both languages share a common origin in the medieval language of Galician Portuguese. A few of these words existed in Latin as loanwords from other Celtic sources, often Gaulish. Altogether these are over 1,000 words, some verbs and toponymic names of towns, rivers, utensils and plants. In the 5th century, the Iberian Peninsula the Roman Hispania was conquered by the Germanic Subi and Visigoths. As they adopted the Roman civilization and language, however, these people contributed with some 500 Germanic words to the lexicon. Many of these words are related to warfare. Such as espora, spur, astaca, stake and gera, war, from Gothic asterisk spora, asterisk staca, and asterisk waro, respectively. The Germanic languages influence also exists in toponymic surnames and patronymic surnames borne by Visigoth sovereigns and their descendants, and it dwells on place names such as Ermisend, Esposende and Resende where Sind and Sende are derived from the Germanic synths, military expedition, and in the case of Resende, the prefix re comes from Germanic reths, council. Other examples of Portuguese names, surnames and town names of Germanic toponymic origin include Henrique, Enriques, Vermoim, Mandum, Calquim, Bagwam, Gamunde, Gedim, Sermond and many more, are quite common mainly in the Old Subi and later Visigothic-dominated regions, covering today's northern half of Portugal and Galicia. Between the 9th and early 13th centuries, Portuguese acquired some 400 to 600 words from Arabic by influence of Moorish Iberia. They are often recognizable by the initial Arabic article al, and include common words such as aldea, village, from aldit aldi backquota or from addictum rothery, aldi, aldias, alface, lettuce, from alx alcus, armism, warehouse, from almkin almoxin, and azete, olive oil, from alzit aze. Starting in the 15th century, the Portuguese maritime explorations led to the introduction of many loanwords from Asian languages. For instance, katana, cutlass, from Japanese katana, cha, tea, from Chinese cha, and kanja, chicken soup, piece of cake, from Malay. From the 16th to the 19th centuries, because of the role of Portugal as intermediary in the Atlantic slave trade, and the establishment of large Portuguese colonies in Angola, Mozambique, and Brazil, Portuguese acquired several words of African and Amaand origin, especially names for most of the animals and plants found in those territories. While those terms are mostly used in the former colonies, many became current in European Portuguese as well. From Kambundu, for example, came Kafumate greater than Kafune. Head caress. Brazil, Cusula greater than Cacula. Youngest child. Brazil, Marimbondo. Tropical wasp. Brazil, and Cubungula greater than Bungular. To dance like a wizard. Angola. From South America came Batata. Potato. 
From Taino, Ananas and Abakashi, from Tupi Guarani Nana and Tupi Ibakati, respectively, two species of pineapple, and Pipoca, popcorn, from Tupi and Tucano, toucan, from Guarani toucan. Finally, it has received a steady influx of loanwords from other European languages, especially French and English. These are by far the most important languages when referring to loanwords. There are many examples such as, colchi, crochet, bracket, crochet, palito, jacket, batom, lipstick, and filet, filet, steak, slice, rua, street, respectively, from French crochet, palatot, baton, filet, rue, and bifa, steak. Football, revolver, stock, a stoke, folklore, from English beef, football, revolver, stock, folklore. Examples from other European languages, makarao, pasta, piloto, pilot, caroca, carriage, and baracca, barrack, from Italian macaron, pilota, carroza, and baracca, melena, hair lock, fiamber, wet cured ham, in Portugal, in contrast with presunto, dry cured ham. From Latin pre exuctus, dehydrated, or canned ham. In Brazil, in contrast with non canned, wet cured presunto cozido and dry cured presunto cru, and castilhano, Castilian. From Spanish melena, main, fiamber and castellano. Before the last four decades, Brazilians adopted a greater number of loanwords from Japanese and other European languages due to the historical immigration affecting their demographics, and they were and are also more willing to adopt foreign terms that come from globalization than the Portuguese, while the degree of African, Tupian and other Amerindian lexicon in Brazilian Portuguese is shown to be surprisingly lesser than that commonly expected of the said variant by the local Africanist and Indianist academia that also has to some degree influenced the common sense of what what gives a different cultural identity of Brazilians in relation to the Portuguese, so that its lexicon is almost identical about 99% to that of European Portuguese. Many Portuguese settlers to colonial Brazil were from northern and insular Portugal, apart from some historically important illegal immigrants from elsewhere in Europe, such as Galicia, France and the Netherlands. Brazil received more European immigrants in its colonial history than the United States. Between 1500 and 1760, 700,000 Europeans overwhelmingly Portuguese settled in Brazil, while 530,000 Europeans settled in the United States for the same given time. Topic: <laughs> Classification and related languages. Topic: Portuguese belongs to the West Iberian branch of the Romance languages, and it has special ties with the following members of this group Galician, Fala and Porchinhal do Pampa the way Riverence and its sibling dialects are referred to in Portuguese, its closest relatives. Mirandese, Leonese, Asturian, Extremaduran and Cantabrian Astor Leonese languages. Mirandese is the only recognized regional language spoken in Portugal beside Portuguese, the only official language in Portugal. Spanish and Calao, the way Calo, language of the Iberian Romani, is referred to in Portuguese. Portuguese and other Romance languages, namely French and Italian, are moderately mutually intelligible and share considerable similarities in both vocabulary and grammar. Portuguese speakers will usually need some formal study before attaining strong comprehension in those Romance languages, and vice versa. However, Portuguese and Galician are mutually intelligible, and Spanish is highly asymmetrically comprehensible to Portuguese speakers. Given that Portuguese has a larger phonemic inventory than Spanish, Portuguese is still considerably intelligible if spoken slowly and without jargon to most Spanish speakers, owing to their genealogical proximity and shared genealogical history as West Iberian Ibero-Romance languages, historical contact between speakers and mutual influence, shared aerial features as well as modern lexical, structural, and grammatical similarity 89% between them. Porchenhall, a form of code switching, has a more lively use and is more readily mentioned in popular culture in South America. 
Said code switching is not to be confused with the Porchinhal spoken on the borders of Brazil with Uruguay Dialito do Pampa and Paraguay Dialito dos Brasiguayos, and of Portugal with Spain Barranqueno, that are Portuguese dialects spoken natively by thousands of people, which have been heavily influenced by Spanish. Portuguese and Spanish are the only Ibero Romance languages, and perhaps the only Romance languages with such thriving interlanguage forms, in which visible and lively bilingual contact dialects and code switching have formed. Formed, in which functional bilingual communication is achieved through attempting an approximation to the target foreign language known as Porchenhall, without a learned acquisition process, but nevertheless facilitates communication. There is an emerging literature focused on such phenomena including informal attempts of standardization of the linguistic continua and their usage. Galician Portuguese in Spain Topic. The closest relative of Portuguese is Galician, which is spoken in the Autonomous Community region and historical nationality of Galicia northwestern Spain. The two were at one time a single language, known today as Galician Portuguese, but they have diverged especially in pronunciation and vocabulary due to the political separation of Portugal from Galicia. There is, however, still a linguistic continuity consisting of the variant of Galician referred to as Galago Portuguese Baixo Limiao, which is spoken in several Galician villages between the municipalities of Entrimo and Lobios and the transborder region of the natural park of Pineda Gires, Zours. It is considered a rarity, a living vestige of the medieval language that ranged from Chantabria to Mondego. As reported by UNESCO, due to the pressure of the Spanish language on the standard official version of the Galician language, the Galician language was on the verge of disappearing. According to the UNESCO philologist Tapani Salmanen, the proximity to Portuguese protects Galician. Nevertheless, the core vocabulary and grammar of Galician are still noticeably closer to Portuguese than to those of Spanish. In particular, like Portuguese, it uses the future subjunctive, the personal infinitive, and the synthetic pluperfect. Mutual intelligibility estimated at 90% by R. A. Hall, Jr., 1989 is excellent between Galicians and Northern Portuguese. Many linguists consider Galician to be a co-dialect of the Portuguese language. Another member of the Galician-Portuguese group, most commonly thought of as a Galician dialect, is spoken in the Ionavian region in a western strip in Asturias and the westernmost parts of the provinces of Leon and Zamora, along the frontier with Galicia, between the Eo and Navia rivers or more exactly Eo and Frexulf rivers. It is called Ionaviego or Gallego Asturiano by its speakers. The Fala language, known by its speakers as Zalimes, Maniegu, a Fala de Zalima and Chaparao and in Portuguese as a Fala de Zalima, a Fala da Estremadora, o Galago da Estremadora, Valego o Galeco Estremenho, is another descendant of Galician Portuguese, spoken by a small number of people in the Spanish towns of Valverde del Fresno Valverde do Fresno, Elas, as Elas and San Martín de Trevejo San Martín de Trevela in the autonomous community of Extremadura, near the border with Portugal. There are a number of other places in Spain in which the native language of the common people is a descendant of the Galician Portuguese group, such as La Alamedilla, Chedillo, Cedillo, Herrera de Alcantara, Ferreira del Cantara, and Olivenza, Olivenca, but in these municipalities, what is spoken is actually Portuguese, not disputed as such in the mainstream. It should be noticed that the diversity of dialects of the Portuguese language is known since the time of medieval Portuguese Galician language when it coexisted with the Lusitanian Mozarabic dialect, spoken in the south of Portugal. The dialectal diversity becomes more evident in the work of Fernão de Oliveira, in the Grammatica da Linguagem Portuguesa, 1536, where he remarks that the people of Portuguese regions of Beira, Alentejo, Estremadura, and Entre Douro e Minho, all speak differently from each other. Also Contador d. Argot distinguishes three main varieties of dialects, the local dialects, the dialects of time, and of profession work jargon. Of local dialects he highlights five main dialects, the dialect of Estremadura, of Entre Douro e Minho, of Beira, of Algarve and of Tras os Montes. He also makes reference to the overseas dialects, the rustic dialects, the poetic dialect and that of prose. In the Kingdom of Portugal, Ladino or Linguagem Latina was the name given to the pure Portuguese language Romance, without any mixture of Arabia or Jaragonca Judenga. While the term lingua vulgar was used to name the language before d. 
Dinis decided to call it Portuguese language. The erudite version used and known as Galician Portuguese, the language of the Portuguese court, and all other Portuguese dialects were spoken at the same time. In a historical perspective, the Portuguese language was never just one dialect. Just like today, there is a standard Portuguese, actually two, among the several dialects of Portuguese. In the past, there was Galician Portuguese as the standard, coexisting with other dialects. Topic. Influence on other languages Topic. Portuguese has provided loanwords to many languages, such as Indonesian, Manado Malay, Malayalam, Sri Lankan Tamil and Sinhalese, Malay, Bengali, English, Hindi, Swahili, Afrikaans, Konkani, Marathi, Tetum, Zisanga, Japanese, Lance Patua spoken in northern Brazil, Essen and Sranan Tongo spoken in Suriname. It left a strong influence on the lingua brasilica, a Tupi-Guarani language, which was the most widely spoken in Brazil until the 18th century, and on the language spoken around Sica in Flores Island, Indonesia. In nearby Larantuka, Portuguese is used for prayers in Holy Week rituals. The Japanese Portuguese dictionary Nippo Jisho was the first dictionary of Japanese in a European language, a product of Jesuit missionary activity in Japan. Building on the work of earlier Portuguese missionaries, the Dictionarium Animiticum, Lusitanum et Latinum Animite Portuguese Latin Dictionary of Alexander de Rhodes 1651 introduced the modern orthography of Vietnamese, which is based on the orthography of 17th-century Portuguese. The romanization of Chinese was also influenced by the Portuguese language among others, particularly regarding Chinese surnames, one example is May. During 1583–88 Italian Jesuits Michel Ruggieri and Matteo Ricci created a Portuguese-Chinese dictionary—the first ever European Chinese dictionary, for instance, as Portuguese merchants were presumably the first to introduce the sweet orange in Europe, in several modern Indo-European languages the fruit has been named after them. Some examples are Albanian Portokal, Bosnian Archaic Portokal, Prokal, Bulgarian Portokal, Portokal Greek Portokali, Portokali, Macedonian Portokal, Persian Prichkal, Portagal, and Romanian Portokala. Related names can be found in other languages, such as Arabic Albertkal, Bertukal, Georgian Portokali, P. Ort, Oxali, Turkish Portokal, and Amharic Bertukan. Also, in Southern Italian dialects, e.g., Neapolitan, an orange is Portugalo or Portugalo, literally, the Portuguese one, in contrast to standard Italian Arancia. Derived languages Beginning in the 16th century, the extensive contacts between Portuguese travelers and settlers, African and Asian slaves, and local populations led to the appearance of many pigeons with varying amounts of Portuguese influence. As each of these pigeons became the mother tongue of succeeding generations, they evolved into fully-fledged Creole languages, which remained in use in many parts of Asia, Africa and South America until the 18th century. Some Portuguese based or Portuguese influenced Creoles are still spoken today, by over 3 million people worldwide, especially people of partial Portuguese ancestry. Phonology Portuguese phonology is similar to those of languages such as French especially that of Quebec, the Gallo-Italic languages, Occitan, Catalan and Franco-Provençal, unlike that of Spanish, which is similar to those of Sardinian and the Southern Italian dialects. Some would describe the phonology of Portuguese as a blend of Spanish, Gallo-Romance e.g. French and the languages of Northern Italy especially Genoese, but with a deeper Celtic influence. There is a maximum of nine oral vowels, two semivowels and 21 consonants, though some varieties of the language have fewer phonemes. There are also five nasal vowels, which some linguists regard as allophones of the oral vowels. Vowels Like Catalan and German, Portuguese uses vowel quality to contrast stressed syllables with unstressed syllables. Unstressed isolated vowels tend to be raised and sometimes centralized. Topic. Consonants Topic. Phonetic notes 
Semivowels contrast with unstressed high vowels in verbal conjugation, as in eu, rio, i, u, and ele, riu, iv. Phonologists discuss whether their nature is vowel or consonant. In most of Brazil and Angola, the consonant hereafter denoted as is realized as a nasal palatal approximant j, which nasalizes the vowel that precedes it, nij, u. Bissell proposes that Portuguese possesses labia velar stops, k, n, as additional phonemes rather than sequences of a velar stop and, with. The consonant hereafter denoted as has a variety of realizations depending on dialect. In Europe, it is typically a uvular trill. However, a pronunciation as a voiced uvular fricative may be becoming dominant in urban areas. There is also a realization as a voiceless uvular fricative chi, and the original pronunciation as an alveolar trill r also remains very common in various dialects. A common realization of the word initial r in the Lisbon accent is a voiced uvular trill fricative. In Brazil, can be velar, uvular, or glottal and may be voiceless unless between voiced sounds. It is usually pronounced as a voiceless velar fricative x, a voiceless glottal fricative h, or voiceless uvular fricative chi. See also guttural r in Portuguese. s, and, z, are normally lamino-alveolar, as in English. However, a number of dialects in northern Portugal pronounce s, and, z, as apico-alveolar sibilants sounding somewhat like a soft or as in the Romance languages of northern Iberia. A very few northeastern Portugal dialects still maintain the medieval distinction between apical and laminal sibilants written s, s, s and c, c, z, respectively. As a phoneme, occurs only in loanwords, with a tendency for speakers to substitute in however, is an allophone of t, before i, in a number of Brazilian dialects. Similarly, d is an allophone of d, in the same contexts. In northern and central Portugal, the voiced stops b, d, and are usually lenited to fricatives beta and respectively, except at the beginning of words or after nasal vowels. A similar process occurs in Spanish. Topic: Grammar. Topic: A notable aspect of the grammar of Portuguese is the verb Morphologically, more verbal inflections from Classical Latin have been preserved by Portuguese than by any other major Romance language. Portuguese and Spanish share very similar grammar. Portuguese also has some grammatical innovations not found in other Romance languages except Galician and Fala. The present perfect has an iterative sense unique to the Galician-Portuguese language group. It denotes an action or a series of actions that began in the past but expected to occur again in the future. For instance, the sentence tenho tentado falar com ela would be translated to I have been trying to talk to her, not I have tried to talk to her. On the other hand, the correct translation of Have you heard the latest news? is not asterisk tem ovido a ultima noticia, but ovio a ultima noticia, since no repetition is implied. Vernacular Portuguese still uses the future subjunctive mood, which developed from medieval West Iberian Romance. In modern Spanish and Galician, it has almost entirely fallen into disuse. The future subjunctive appears in dependent clauses that denote a condition that must be fulfilled in the future so that the independent clause will occur. English normally employs the present tense under the same circumstances, say eu for eleito presidente, mutare ele. If I am elected president, I will change the law, quando fors mes velho, vice intender. When you grow older, you will understand, the personal infinitive can inflect according to its subject in person and number, often shows who is expected to perform a certain action. A melhor voltaires it is better for you to go back, a melhor voltairmos it is better for us to go back, perhaps for that reason, infinitive clauses replace subjunctive clauses more often in Portuguese than in other Romance languages. Topic writing system Topic Portuguese is written with 26 letters of the Latin script, making use of five diacritics to denote stress, vowel height, contraction, nasalization, and etymological assibilation acute accent, circumflex, grave accent, tilde, and cedilla. The trema was also formerly used in Brazilian Portuguese, and can still be encountered in words derived from proper names in other languages, such as Anhanguera and Mulleriano. Accented characters and digraphs are not counted as separate letters for collation purposes. 
Topic spelling reforms topic topic see also topic anglophone pronunciation of foreign languages portuguese section portuguese literature portuguese africans angolan literature brazilian literature european portuguese galician language international portuguese language institute list of countries where portuguese is an official language list of international organizations which have portuguese as an official language list of portuguese language poets lusitanian language mozambican portuguese portuguese in asia and oceania portuguese Portuguese poetry Portunhol topic references topic topic citations topic topic source topic Historia da língua portuguesa Instituto Camos a língua portuguesa in Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Norte Brazil Carta de Dotação e Fundação da Igreja de S Miguel de Lardosa A D 882 O Mês Antigo Documento Latino Portuguese Original Conhecido 2 Literature Pija e Prosa Medieve, by Maria Emma Taracha Ferreira, Ulisea 1998, 3rd ed., ISBN 978-972-568-124-4. Bases temáticas, língua, literatura e cultura portuguesa in Instituto Camos Portuguese Literature in the Catholic Encyclopedia Phonology, Orthography and Grammar Barbosa, Plinio A., Albano, Eleonora C. 2004. Brazilian Portuguese. Journal of the International Phonetic Association. 34 227-232. Doi 10.1017 s0025100304001756. Bergstrom, Magnus and Rees, Nevis Prontuario Ortográfico Editorial Noticias, 2004. Bissell, Lida, 2005. Introdução a estudos de fonologia do português brasileiro in Portuguese, Porto Alegre, Rio Grande do Sul, EDIPUCRS, ISBN 978-85-7430-529-5. Cruz Ferreira, Madalena, 1995. European Portuguese. Journal of the International Phonetic Association. 25, 90-94. Doi 10.1017 s0025100300522 Granum, Nina 2005 Phonetic og phonology Almond og dansk 3rd ed Copenhagen Akademisk forlag ISBN 9788758385 Mateus, Maria Helena, Dandrade, Ernesto 2000, The Phonology of Portuguese, Oxford University Press, ISBN 978-0-19-823581-1 Rodriguez, Marisandra Costa 2012, Encontros Vocalicos Fin M Portuguese, Descricao e Analise Automalista PDF Thesis, Universidade Federal do Rio de Janeiro Thomas, Earl W. 1974, a Grammar of Spoken Brazilian Portuguese, Nashville, Tennessee, Vanderbilt University Press, ISBN 978-0-8265-1197-3 A Pronuncia do Português Europeu — European Portuguese Pronunciation Dialects of Portuguese at the Instituto Camos Audio samples of the dialects of Portugal Audio samples of the dialects from outside Europe Portuguese Grammar Reference Dictionaries Antonio Hoes 2000 Dictionario Hoes da Língua Portuguesa 228500 entries Aurelio Barque de Holanda Ferreira Novo Dictionario da Língua Portuguesa 1809 pp English Portuguese Chinese Dictionary Freeware for Windows Linux Mac Linguistic Studies Cook Manuela Portuguese pronouns and other forms of address, from the past into the future, structural, semantic and pragmatic reflections, ellipsis, volume 11, APSA, www.portuguese-apsa.com slash ellipsis, 2013 Cook, Manuela 1997. Uma teoria de interpretação das formas de tratamento na língua portuguesa. Hispania. 83, 451-464. Doi 10.2307 345821 JSTOR 345821 Cook, Manuela. On the Portuguese forms of address from Vossa Mers to Voce. Portuguese Studies Review 3.2, Durham, University of New Hampshire, 1995. 
Lindley Sintra, Luis F. Nova Proposta de Classificação dos Dialectos Galego Portugueses, PDF, Boletim de Filologia, Lisboa, Centro de Estudos Filológicos, 1971. Topic: External links. Topic: Portuguese language at Curlie.